physics, 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 physics. Hey guys, Prince Medic is here. Physics is the reason why many people score very poorly in German. Hence, I've decided to do this video to change that narrative. So pay close attention as we explore the 10 most repeated physics topics in jam physics. Stay tuned. The first is fundamental and derived quantities and units. Here you should know the fundamental quantities we have. The three main ones particularly. You should know the time, length and mass and their units very very important for the derived quantities you should know the examples you should know work done force acceleration velocity and their units this topic is very tricky you might think you have understood it but by the time you're giving questions based on that you see yourself falling short but if you think you're up to the task answer the question on your screen the second is work energy and power here you should know the definition of work done, definition of power, definition of energy. Know that work done is equal to force times distance and in some situations you can use MGH or half K is squared. You should know the formula for power, work done over time. You should know the law of conservation of energy and you should know everything surrounding energy. Very, very important. This will go a long way to save you while you're writing your time. If you think you're acquainted with this topic already, attempt the question on your screen. Yeah, the third. The third is scalar and vector quantities. Scalar quantities are those ones that have magnitude but lack direction. Why vector quantities are those ones that have both magnitude and direction? Here, you should know several things that underlie scalar quantities with the examples, vector quantities with the examples. You should know how to resolve forces to the vertical and to the horizontal components. You should also know the resultant force. Very importantly, you should know the Palerogram law. Very, very important. I cannot overemphasize the importance of resolving to the vertical and to the horizontal. The topic looks complex, but if you think you're up to the task, attempt the questions on your screen and leave the answer in the comment section below. The fourth is elasticity. You should understand the concept of elasticity. Understand Hooke's law be able to state it. The formulas in elasticity you should get acquainted with them, some of which include F is equal to Ke. Work done in elastic spring is equal to half Ke squared or half Fe. In addition, no young modulus. Very, very important. If you can, know the formula of stress, know the formula of strain. Do this if you think you're good to go. Attempt the questions on your screen. And remember to leave your answer in the comment section below. The fifth is equilibrium of forces. Here you should understand the concept of equilibrium. You should know the types of equilibrium we have and the examples. You should understand resultant force and how to calculate for it. You should understand moment of forces. Very, very important. Be able to calculate several things on this topic. But if you think you're up to the task, attempt the questions on your screen and leave the answer in the comment section below. The sixth is waves. This is a topic that contains several other subtopics within it. Reflection, refraction, sound waves and the rest of them. You should understand the laws of reflection. Know the formulas in refraction, very very important. Understand Snell's law, sine i over sine r. n is also equal to real depth over apparent depth, very very important. Then for sound waves, you should understand sound waves frequencies and velocities. Know how to do calculation relating to sound waves, especially the ones that has to do with pipes. Very, very important. Let me test you a bit. Attempt the question on your screen and leave the answer in the comment section. The seventh is electromagnetic field. Here you should pay attention to the laws of electromagnetic induction. You should understand the motion of a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field. Understand the concept of eddy current. Understand transformers. Understand everything there is in electromagnetic field. Looks big, but it's very, very important. There's a source of many damn questions. But if you think you're okay with all of this, attempt the question on your screen. 
momentum and impulse is the eighth one. Here you should know the definition of momentum. Know the formula. Momentum is equal to mass times velocity. You should know impulse. And you should know that impulse is force times time. You should know the law of conservation of linear momentum. Very, very important. You should know the three Newton's laws of motion. Also important. And very, very importantly, you should know the calculations in them. Do this and you're good to go. Attempt the question on your screen to test your preparedness. Leave your answer in the comment section. The next is mechanical energy. Here you should know the formula of efficiency of the machine, types of machines, and the velocity ratio formulas. And finally, motion and projectiles. These are two topics in one. Let's consider them individually. Motion. Here you should know the types of motions we have. Know the equations of motion. Very, very important. Do not underestimate it. Then over to projectiles, you should know how to calculate for range, maximum height, know the entirety of projectiles. Once you're done, you're good to go. Attempt the questions on your screen to check your preparedness. If you think this video was impactful, please share this video with as many as you think would benefit from it. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!